Chancellor trying to do a little bit of high four checking. Ties up Merrimack player. Needon Murray centers it across the stands. Nice move to the inside. The shot in! Baby Stens, her fourth goal of the season, the junior from Zurich, and gets the Bulldogs on the board. Just under three minutes played here inside the second period. Mack has been penned inside their zone for the last minute and a half, and they still can't clear as Chancellor keeps it alive. Murray has Yetman in the near side, finds her, the shot blocked away, and it's in on the deflection. The secondary effort is Yetman pinched in. And I think Murray might have gotten a touch in there. But Yale gets a second on the board on the replay. It was all the way through. And Yetman will get her first goal of the season. It's getting in there was Allison Sexton. Still going on with Drexler. Underneath, touch pass across. Now Soliotis will have a go. And it's in! A great response by the Yale Bulldogs giving up a goal about a minute ago, but with 14-11 left here in the third. One right back, as you see here on the replay, the centering pass just overshot a couple of players. Uh, the wrister from deep gets it to go, and the Bulldogs now lead 3-1. One. one and a quarter to go. The power play, Flanagan, a low driven shot, rebound, kept out for a moment, a scrum in front of the net, no goal. Not sure who was in there late as perhaps somehow Mandel able to cover there late. As you can see here on the replay, Flanagan with a good low driven in shot. And coming in late was Marchin. Well, she's done just about everything today. Taking shots, blocking shots, tracking back. And eventually had to save one off the line as well as Mandel able to come across. Yale will just clear with 10. And eventually it will go out of the zone and the Bulldogs are gonna move on to the championship game of the Nutmeg Classic. This would be for the ninth time in the 12 year history of this tournament.